there are a lot of rappers who sensationalize the or romanticize the idea of dying and it, as a way to maybe immortalize who they were if they can die a magnificent death. Mm -hmm. And I think, unfortunately, the way that it comes out is, is very uh, destructive and not constructive. Yeah. And it's, again, one of those things when people come into my studio, um, I challenge their lyrics. Mm. Like, what's your purpose? Mm. What's the end result of these, these, these words and this feeling that will live on maybe another hundred years beyond you? What value do you think they have now? What value do you think they will have then? And people who come into my studio with that sort of a approach hate when I ask those questions because <laughs> it's challenging their artistic whatever and this delusion of grandeur given by I'm an artist. Mm. We're human beings and we're community. And these buildings one day will crumble and dust will cover them. And someone will uncover them and want to know something about their past to understand how they can move on as a society and grow. Mm -hmm. And so um, to sensationalize and take death for granted in that way is there's nothing to, to be learned from that, I mm -hmm. think, other than you guys were foolish in 19 or two, 1990, 2017. Mm. Um, so I make it an effort to, to try and challenge. And because I'm older, when the 19 year olds come in with that eh, green and I'm fearless and I don't care about anyone else and I'm not gonna curse here. Um, <laughs> and the expression from that perspective, I, I try to educate them and challenge them in a healthy way yeah. so that they can You're value mentoring. life yeah. and you know, speak about the idea of dying in a different way. Mm.